Hi, this is a continuation on the series of videos on graph analytics. In this video, we are going to focus on the node ranking algorithms. The node ranking or the page rank is an algorithm that computes ranking scores for the vertices using the network created by the incoming edges of the graph. The edges on the graph will define the relevance of each vertex, reflecting this on scores, meaning that the greater scores will correspond to the vertices of greater relevance. Now to understand this better, consider the following analogy. There are tons of websites out there on the web, but if there is a website which is getting accessed by so many other websites, then this should have a higher importance or in other words, a higher rank. PageRank was initially used as one of the algorithms by Google in order to rank its search results. In order to continue with the previous video, we have a logistics company that has established various warehouses all across the country and these warehouses along with their edges are being plotted in the network visualization here. Now we'll be running page ranking algorithm on top of this graph to identify what are the most relevant warehouses for the company. So let's go and create a data flow and bring in the graph demo data set. Now let's click on add step and choose the graph analytics. Now in this step, we are going to choose the node ranking operation. So let's hide the output columns for now. It basically asks for two parameters. One is a source column. And in this case, it's going to be source and destination. The reason that there is no weight included as a part of the parameter is because page ranking is completely independent of the weights. It mainly focuses on the count of the incoming and outgoing edges for a particular vertex. Okay, so now let's see the output section. So it basically has a node vertex and a rank corresponding to that particular vertex. This looks fine. So let's go and save the data. I'm going to give it a name, graph demo rank with the same table name. The output would be an attribute for the vertex and a measure for the rank. So I'm going to go and run this data flow. Let's give it a name. Okay, the data flow is saved and it's now executing. It typically takes around 30 to 40 seconds for the data flow to complete its execution. Okay, so the data flow has completed its execution. Now let's create a project with the newly created data set. We have two columns, node vertex and rank. Let's view this in the form of a table. So now let's sort the node vertex in the decreasing order of the page rank. The warehouse MGS is the most important warehouse in the graph of the, the highest page rank of 11.03 followed by LKO and NJP. Now let's bring back our original data set on the various warehouses. Let's create a join. So let's create a match. The source will be joined with the node vertex. Let's create OK. Now let's create a graph in the same network visualization as in the previous video to view all the warehouses in the network visualization. Now the graph has rendered completely. So now let's see which is the vertex which corresponds to MGS. And you can see that the one in the center MGS is here, which has a lot of incoming edges. And similarly, let's see what is LKO. KO is this vertex, which has a lot of incoming and outgoing edges and thus given a higher page rank. Now, an even better way to visualize this would be to actually bring in the rank, the node size. So let's bring in the rank and add it to the node size in the graph. So we can see MGS is the bigger bubble here, which has the highest node size. Similarly, the one with LKO. LKO is this node here. This brings an end to the page ranking or the node ranking operation in the graph analytics. 